one here. So we're going to start with our first presenter. Uh, and I, I was really impressed meeting him today. He's amazing. Um, his name is Taylor Conroy, and he likes to call himself a th philanthropeneur. A philan philanthropic entrepreneur. Uh, he is the founder of the local real estate company called The Condo Group, and he sells condos here in Victoria, but he's also Condo turned Condo. his business sense into a social platform for change. And he's got some amazing fundraising ideas. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but when I, just a little foreshadow here, when I asked him what he would do with a million dollars, he said he would build some pretty amazing things. Please welcome to the stage, Taylor Conroy, everybody. The most powerful weapon in fighting extreme poverty is education. I thoroughly agree with that statement by Nelson Mandela, so tonight I'm going to show you in 19 slides how I plan to raise a million dollars to build 120 schools in a day. First, a little bit of backstory. In 2008, I was this completely cheesy realtor named Kondo Conro. <laughs> No, no one told me I looked like that. <laughs> but despite the cheesiness, 2008 was a really good year, which allowed me to put a lot of money aside for charity. And in the beginning of 2009, I traveled to Africa to find out where that money would be put to its highest and best use. I started in Uganda, where I met kids like these and hundreds of other kids like these, who don't have access to basic education. And that sort of chained to the wheel of extreme poverty that they their parents, their grandparents, and their great-grandparents have been stuck in for generations. Then we travel to Kenya, where I met kids who have to learn in schools that are made of mud, dung, and sticks. <laughs> Dirt floors, it's not funny. And uh, keeping kids coming to learn in this environment, let alone keeping teachers coming to teach in this environment, is a really huge challenge. But then I saw the schools that Free the Children was building, and they're big, and bright and beautiful with massive windows, cinder block walls, concrete floors, benches for every student. The kids were loving coming to learn there and the teachers were really happy to come and teach there. I ended up donating that money to free the children which funded the first library to be built in that region of Kenya which would help educate thousands and thousands of kids. That's the library there and the feeling, the feeling that I got from donating that money was so indescribable. It was a feeling that I became addicted to immediately, and one that I wanted to give all of my family and all of my friends. So when I got back to Canada, I went on a mission to find out what it was that truly makes people give. So I knew if I found out what it was that makes people give, I could just do that, get them to give. They would become addicted to this feeling, and the world would be a better place. And without going into too much detail, because I only have 10 slides left, I came up with five motivators behind giving that I truly believe when combined correctly would not only motivate anyone to give, but will make them happy, excited, and thank you for getting them to give in the first place. And just a brief over overview of those five motivators. Their personal connection, meaning the connection between the potential donor and the fundraiser himself. Group giving, kind of a peer pressure mentality. Recognition, tangible outcome, and micro giving. And after coming up with these five motivators, I'm going to put them to the test. So put them all into the most thought out yet casual sounding text message ever written and I sent it to 15 of my friends. And it said, you and me and a bunch of buddies are gonna to get together to build a school in Kenya for hundreds of deserving kids. We're all gonna donate $3.33 a day for three quick months. I know you spend one amount of hair product every month. We're gonna build a website with your picture on it and your mother's gonna be so proud of you. 15 people times $3.33 for three months. I just raised $5,000 from a text message. My head was exploding with how easy this was, and I knew I was like another step closest to making another step closer to making it available for, available to anyone. So I partnered up with a brilliant graphic designer and friend of mine, Steven Zazula, who's sitting back there. We put all five motivators into a video, and the video said it was three dollars and thirty-three cents that we were building a school, that they were going to get massive recognition through certificates, Facebook posts, tweets, and all that kind of stuff. And we put the video, which was quite inspiring, on the top of a donation page. 
So as soon as they watched it, it would feel Aspire, they wouldn't have to click to go to another website or anything like that. They could just scroll down, enter their credit card information, it would automatically bill them once a month. And it would be done. And I raised $10,000 to build a school for hundreds and hundreds of kids with what took me three hours to prepare. So that was, I was really ecstatic, obviously, about that and excited. And I knew I was really, really close to making it something big because I knew it was to make a real dent in the, let's call it a crisis of lack of basic education that we have on this planet. I needed to make it available for anyone. And so that was what we've done. We built a website that any of you in this room, if you want, can go to. And in five quick, simple steps, can raise $10,000 in less than three hours. And those five steps are step one, write down the 33 people that you want to send a campaign to. Ideally not starving students, people that are completely broke. And I'm sure everyone knows 33 people. Step two, you pick where in the world you want to build a school. You can build it in Kenya, Sierra Leone, India, China, Ecuador, Haiti, and a couple other countries that we're working on right now. Step three is you narrate over that video that I just talked about, the one that says it's $3.33. You narrate over that in your own voice to make it really nice and personal, which only takes about 20 minutes because the video is only like said four minutes long. Step four, you film 33 10-second short videos to attach to that four-minute video to make it really personal. You're going to send it, or 10-second videos to each person that you're going to be sending it to to really build that nice personal connection. Step five, you watch $10,000 come in and build a school whenever you want. So where we're at with it right now is in two weeks from today, we've got 10 people confirmed with all their 33 friends lined up to run this contest or this campaign, which will raise $100,000 in a day and build 12 schools all over the world. But that's just a test for the big one, which we're launching in two months from now, where we're getting 100 people to run this campaign. We've literally had 110 people sign up for the campaign today which will raise a million dollars and build 120 schools all over the world for millions and millions of children in need. Now I started this little presentation with a quote, so I thought I'd end it on one too. This one's by Margaret Mead. It said, never doubt that a group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you. And that's the website there that he mentioned, uh, destroynormalfundraising.com. So, if you have smartphones, and I bet 30% of you do, uh, get them out and, uh, and look at it now. Everyone else who has normal cell phones, can we put them on silent?